Okay, in this podcast, we're going to talk about the relationship of pressure and temperature. So in the... Um, I just want to remind you, so when we were talking about pressure and volume, pressure and volume were inversely proportional. So the, really what we're going to tackle this is, since we know that some factors can be opposites, the question really becomes, are all the factors opposites or are some of the factors the same? So remember what I said previously, that uh, gas laws are governed by three, uh, four major things, pressure, volume, moles, and temperature. So in this one specifically, we're going to hold the volume and the moles constant, and we're just going to look at the pressure versus the temperature. So that means our pressure and temperatures are going to change. So we're going to manipulate them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my bike pump, and I'm going to pump in some gas. So I'm, since I'm going to work with light species, um, I'm only going to give one pump. Let's see how high that pressure goes. Let's see. So again, so as those molecules are colliding with the walls of the container, they're exerting a force. That ex force is pressure. Now my little dude over here, he's not going to be doing anything because I'm not going to change my volume. Okay, so that's a pretty good pressure in there is, is uh, 0.61. So again, there's no button to change the pressure. So let's change the temperature. So I can either add heat or I can remove heat. Now notice that in chemistry, and we're going to talk about this more when we get into the thermochemistry unit, um, we actually only talk in terms of heat. We never talk in terms of cold. There is no such thing as cold in chemistry. There's only things as high heat and low heat. So high heat would be considered hot and low heat would be considered cold. So since we're at 300 Kelvin, which is just a little bit warmer than um, room temperature, it's like a hot room, a warm room. Uh, let's let's add some more heat. Let's like, make these molecules really hot. So let's start adding heat. So we're going to add some fire. Fire. Here we go. Now, I want you to notice a couple things. I want you to notice, one, my temperature is climbing. Okay? And I also want you to notice that the molecules are moving around a lot. So I've, I have a little bit more than doubled my temperature now. I'm at se almost 700 Kelvin. So I want you to notice uh, things. So my temperature has gone up. What is the molecules doing? Well, temperature is energy. Okay, that's an important one. Keep that fact in the back of your mind for the rest of the marking period. So temperature is energy. As I add more energy to these molecules, they move around more. It's no different than me handing you a Red Bull and telling you to chug it, and then all of a sudden you're jittery and you want to run around the school. So the molecules are moving around more. Well, remember that pressure is a result of the mole molecules colliding with stuff. So if they're moving around more, what are they going to do? They're going to collide with stuff more. And now look at our pressure. If you look at our pressure, our pressure went up too. Let's add more heat. Let's see how high we can go. Boom. Okay. So now we're at almost 900. Let's bring it up to 900. Now we're three times higher than we were before. And look at our pressure. Okay, our temperature tripled, and what happened to our pressure? Well, our pressure, if you remember originally, was about 0 0.6, 0 0.65, and now our pressure is 1.7. We've tr one point, yeah, around 1.7. So we tripled our temperature, and we almost perfectly tripled our pressure. So if temperature goes up, our pressure goes up because the molecules are moving more. Well, before, when pressure went up, volume went down, and that was inverse. This is what is called a direct relationship, meaning that as one goes up, the other goes up. As one goes down, the other goes down. So since we tripled our temperature, our pressure pretty much tripled, almost perfectly tripled. Now, let's see if that works the same way if we do cold. So let's drop our temperature. Do, 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 do. Okay, so you can see I'm adding ice. Now, obviously, in the real world, we wouldn't really add ice. We just remove our heat. So let's see if we can drop it below our 300. Okay, we're below the temperature we started with. Now let's see how low we can go. How low can we go? How low can you go? Now let's see, this is really cold. Really cold, like people dead cold. Okay, we're at 95 Kelvin. That's, that's unbelievably cold. That is colder than liquid nitrogen. Notice our gas molecules are still moving around because there's still energy. Temperature is energy. So when we put in a lot of energy, our molecules move a lot. When we take that energy away, Notice the movement of the molecules. It has decreased. Now, if the molecules movement has decreased, our pressure should have decreased. And if you look at our pressure right here, oh, look at that. It's 0.2. So we're about a third of what our temperature was originally, and our pressure is about a third of what it was originally. So once again, it is direct relationship. Okay, so let's reset this. And let's see if the same thing works if we use fat molecules. So I'm gonna use, let's use some heavy molecules. Worked really well when we had light molecules. So let's give two pumps, because we need a lot more of these guys. 
So notice they move a lot slower initially. So for the same temperature, heavy things move a lot slower. Makes sense. If I hand you a Red Bull and tell you to chug it, and I hand a sumo wrestler a Red Bull and tell him to drink it, well, you're going to, that energy, the same amount of energy goes into both of you, but that energy is going to affect you a lot more than it's going to affect that sumo wrestler. Okay, so let's add some heat. Turn it on. This gas is on fire. Well, not really, it's really just heated up. Okay, so now we're making the molecules hot. What's happened to our pressure? Boom, our pressure is skyrocketing. So notice the same thing happens. Whether the molecules are small or the molecules are large, temperature and pressure are directly proportional, meaning that as we increase the temperature, we increase the pressure.